Welcome back guys to another episode of Corolla Customs and on today's episode we're going to be changing out the encoder motor. So what's going on guys, it's Ryan from Corolla Customs. Um, if you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing. Everything helps this channel. So um, help me out guys, I'd appreciate it. Um, so on today's episode, we're gonna be doing the encoder motor for our four wheel drive. For some reason, I don't hear mine um, turning on. I do have a code on my four wheel drive, which is a CO379 code, which is a front axle circuit malfunction. Um, it's definitely something else within the front axle. It could be the actuator or it could be a break or a short to ground on the wiring on that axle. But um, also I don't hear my encoder motor working. And um, in this video, I'm just gonna show you how to change it out. So let's get started. We start by removing four 15 millimeter bolts on the skid plate. First, mark the drive shaft. Using a pry bar, wedge the bar to hold the drive shaft in place. Then remove the four 11 millimeter bolts. Use a punch to tap the caps on the U-joint. This should help loosen the rust and allow the shaft to separate. Now, with the assistance of a pry bar, separate the shaft. Use the pry bar to help work the rubber off the transfer case and remove the drive shaft. Use a 15mm socket to remove the three 15mm bolts holding on the encoder motor. Also, don't forget to disconnect the harness. Now remove the old gasket, clean it up, and reuse it on the new encoder motor. On the transfer case gear, turn the keyway by hand to face the ground. Should be one click. Then reinstall the new encoder motor. We start by replacing the three 15mm bolts on the encoder motor. Now reinstall the drive shaft. Now reinstall the four 11mm bolts and tighten them down. Finally reinstall the skid plate and you are finished. Alrighty guys, so that is how you change the encoder motor on your 2004 Chevy Avalanche or any other Chevy truck with a 4x4 on it. Um, thank you all for watching, I really appreciate it. If you're new to my channel and you are not subscribed, please consider subscribing. Also, hit that bell notification on the top, either here or here, and you will be up to date with all my latest videos. I want to thank you guys for sticking through with all my videos, and I want to thank all my new subscribers and my old subscribers for being with me throughout my journey um, and my journey will continue so I just want to say thank you all I always appreciate it and I hope to see you guys for the next episode